Hello everyone, so today I'm going to explain to you growth chart. It's super simple and easy. Uh, I'm going to show you different type uh, and I'm going to give you some example. So first thing you could check in growth chart, you will check uh, the nationality as you see here it's for Saudi, the region. Uh, I have this chart is uh, for Saudi children and adolescents. Uh, this is the first thing you, you can check. Uh, where is it from? Number two, you will check what is it like is, is it measuring the height the head circumference also uh, it's always like this display and on white boxes like here like here you can see it so uh here i had for head circ uh, circumference here i have for height for age i have also different uh here's the weight so and also as you can see we have pink for girls and blue for boys and also the fourth thing you could check is the 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 age so as you can see here from birth to 60 months um uh, and here from birth to 36 months okay so you should check the is it for boy or girl is it uh, what is the age and uh, uh what is it measuring and also uh the nationality or the region of the growth chart this is the fourth thing you should check first in any growth chart so if you have a child, one years old child, his height is in, in centimeters is 70 uh, centimeter. How are you gonna displace it on the chart? Okay, so his age is one year, as you can see here in month 12. Okay, and you can go up, up, up here till you meet up with the 70. Okay, you should draw like an X or like uh, you also can draw uh, like a dot. Okay, so after this, this is the first thing you can do. Okay, let's say we have another child in the blue one. Uh, let me, yeah, in the blue. Okay, one years old too, but the baby in the blue, he's like here. And we have another child, the green child. His, uh, his, uh, his height is like 60 here. They all the same age. They all one year old, but they display in the chart in the different, in the, in the different site. Okay. So how we can interpret this? So first you can see this. Okay. Let me draw it in red. You can see the line from here till here, right? Till here, right? So this is the normal. So whenever, whatever it's, it's display here or whatever x or dot you you put inside here it will be normal okay so child in the red in the red x he's normal okay and the child is on the blue one he's higher than normal taller than normal okay higher i mean taller than normal okay and the child in in the green x he's shorter than normal so below that the the this graph below this uh, like um the graph from here to here below it is short above it is tall okay and also it's display as well as for head circumference if it's if it above here it mean uh, the baby had a big head uh, and uh, like macro uh, cephaly or if the patient is uh, under the curve uh, like the green one here you should know he has a micro cephalus okay so we have different also for weight if he's display here that mean he's normal if it above it's he's uh, uh bigger than normal if it's uh, below the curve he's smaller than normal so after we finish this uh you should track the the x like the red x like we can see here and when you track it down here you will end up with 10 what does that mean what does this number mean this number display 100 kid, okay, 100 child. So your child is going to be number 10. Nine of the children, nine of the children will be shorter than him. And 90%, 90 will be like taller, taller than him. Okay, so this is the way just you know that the, 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 not the percentage that where your baby fall and to uh, like according to his age and according to his uh, like uh, uh, other children in his age like as we see if the patient is to play here 50 that mean 50 uh, children will be uh, like taller than him and 50 will be uh, uh, shorter than him so this is what the number here m mean
So as you can see here, we have uh, the red and the green here. I just place it like imagine it's two child. We have child in red and child in green. Okay. Uh, as you can see that the both children are displayed below the the curve. That means the here the childrens are short. Okay. So how we can interpret this? First, after you, you like you just place it on the chart, you should check the born age of the child. Okay. Let's take an example. The born age of the child is less than the chronological age. What, that, what does that mean? The born age you check it in, on X-ray. Okay. So uh, if you are a ten years old child, your born age uh, normally it will be ten. Okay. So uh, if if you find out that the 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 uh, the red one, the red child, and the green child uh, have less the born age, their born age is less than uh, the chronological age. That mean different thing. Okay. After you see this, after you see this, you should check: is the baby going with the curve, the velocity? Is it going with the curve as you see in the red child here? And if it not going with the curve, as you see in the green one, if it going with the curve, that mean different thing. That mean maybe the baby most probably is the constitutional delay. That mean the child here. Let me just do it in red. The child here will eventually will eventually jump to the normal. Okay, he will jump. It's a, a normal delay, constitutional delay from its name, constitutional delay. Okay. And what about the 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 green one? Okay, you check the born age, and it's, it's lesser than the chronological age. What does that mean? The green the green one, it's not going with the curve. It's not the velocity. It's like as you see here, it's not like the velocity here in red. What does that mean? That mean the baby have different things. Uh, maybe chronic illnesses, like uh, chronic renal failure. Uh, maybe he have a nutritional uh, problem like gastrointestinal, like uh, celiac or Crohn's, okay? And maybe uh, endocrine uh, abnormality like a growth uh, hormone deficiency or hypothyroidism. So, uh, what if the born age is equal to the chronological age? That mean also two things. Is it going with the curve, the velocity normal or not, like the green one? Okay, if it's equal, if you you see the child here have the 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 born age is equal the chronological age and he's going with the curve, that mean most probably familiar cause. Uh, uh, you can see like the child his family uh, a predicted uh, range is here, so the child will grow eventually here. So it's a familiar a familiar thing. Okay. And if it's not going with the curve or the velocity, it's not normal. As you can see in the green one, that mean he must probably have a genetic uh, problem like Turner or Down syndrome. Okay, now as you can see here, we have the red and the green too, but above the curve. That means the ch the children here are taller than normal. Okay, when you check the born age, you will have it like equal the chronological age or more than the chronological age okay so what does that mean okay you should check the velocity as i mentioned before with uh, uh, with the short uh, children so if you have the velocity like the red one normal uh, like he's going with the curve that's mean most probably is a familial total stature and if it's not going with the curve like as you can see here the child is like tall tall like going this way not with the the velocity is not with the curve uh, is not like the red one that mean different thing that mean maybe he had abnormal endocrine like gigantism or uh, hyperthyroidism okay if it's uh, or maybe a genetic like Marfan or Klemfer syndrome okay yeah and this is about the growth chart I hope you understand I go in more in details as you can see in the height which is I think the most confusing part and uh, you should also check the weight and the head circumference. It's super easy as I explain how to display it. And uh, thank you for watching.